So another thing that we can do is I can actually create an image viewer, right? And I've got a button here that says open image. You can't see it here, but I've got a label above that. And when I click open image, I, it's going to open up that dialog box for me. And then I can choose whatever image I want. Apparently not that one. Let me see what I just did. Those are, let's try a different one here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so I just didn't like that image file. But you can see here, now I can open images from anywhere on my hard drive, view them inside the TK image folder. Okay, so I can take that a step further now, and I can actually use some of my uh, InstaPy program, some of those functions. <clears throat> And I have a little, I have a little TK inter, interface here, that, and I have one that says show image. I have an apply filter. I don't have an open image, but I could do just what I did in that last application. So I show the image, and then I can apply the filter. So now I can actually see, see the filters as they're being applied, and it's quicker and it's more visual. <clears throat> it's it's a good graphical user interface. Uh, program. So those are some of the things that you can do with TK image. You can also just make your uh, make your programs look a little bit more attractive by adding images to them if you want to just do it that way. So that gives you some some ideas of how to use some of that code. So